which I, I don't know why she can't even put a fucking <laughs> show together without somebody doing it for her, let alone go and comment on country rap or rap in general. I mean, her goddamn sister does all the work for her. And then she gets fucking pissed when her sister ain't got it fucking done right for her. I don't know how many times I've heard that. Mm -hmm. So while y'all was talking about bird, I just get somebody just killed a snake outside my house. Just goes to show the level of you know, it was only a matter of time before people were telling me that this stuff was coming down the pipe. I don't know why that that uh, Naughty would be so freaked out that, uh, especially if he was new when he met Bird and gave her his info, like. How how can you be freaked out that the type of community they are like that she wasn't gonna uh, hand it over to somebody in her community? Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm. Uh, I, I just would think that it would be a given to think that since they're a troll slash doxing community, but that's just me. <laughs> what? Yeah, so yeah, I just walked. Yeah, I walked outside. Somebody killed a snake. It just happened. That's yeah. I hope fucking Moses Heaps tears the fucking sh like. I hope oh, Moses it's gonna be a good one. Tears one you down. I hope she gets her own top ten tonight. That'd be fucking great. I know, Jackie. That's why you're. That's why there's a sacred circle, and you're part of it. I know who. Now I know exactly who's fucking spread my shit around and didn't. I can honestly tell you, nobody was interested in, in knowing anything personal about you when no. you came along. I didn't. No. I was. I thought. I told you this, naughty. I told you in private that I liked you and I liked what you did and that you should continue doing it. You know, I know I never, I never thought anything bad about you at all. I know. And I, I appreciate that. And, and at first I didn't see the, the huge picture because it was a huge picture. It wasn't just a big picture uh, fusion. It was a huge picture, right. but I appreciate the advice of if you're going to go out the littles, you need to do it from your channel. <laughs> Yeah. So and, I went to my channel, and then that gave me the separation that I needed uh, to see the huge fucking picture. Check IG fusion. Yeah, I see it. I saw it. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I blacked out his name, you know. But yeah, it's, uh, it's real, naughty. It's it, real. Yeah, fusion can verify. Now, how would I have that? I would send it to you, but you don't have IG. No, no, I got but, rid of that. That's uh, trouble. You know, I did black your name out on I appreciate it. Well, he knows uh, my name. I, I don't. It's Brand. My name is Brandon Forbes. I was, I was honorably discharged from the United States Army. Right. On medical conditions. I, I don't I have no, I go by naughty on fucking YouTube. Oh, well. You know, Same everybody knows who I am. I'm going to fucking make fun of people. And now y'all know what fucking bird did to me. I, I You're just one of many. Yeah. 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 Yep. Except I'm one that, uh, Fafo, fuck around, find out, bird. And you did. Say, uh, from day one. How did you do it from fucking day one? And, and me be here fucking this long, fucking trying to fight for you and fucking hold out for you and fucking do all this cool shit for you. And you fucking did that on day fucking one it, it's the same way she used that guy carl with the k oh yeah to get fucking weed you know then the dumb fucking bitch didn't have enough respect for him to not say every day wonder if the package weed's coming from carl wonder if the pack you know you stupid every motherfucker day. if somebody wanted to be dirty 
they could have called and your ass would be in fucking jail right now. I mean, only an idiot smells motherfucking weed and gets on here and talks fucking about it. You know, that makes was... no fucking sense. Wow. 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 Did y'all hear that? So not only did y'all know that she was. Y'all are just as guilty, though, because y'all knew about it and y'all didn't say anything. So you knew about a crime happening and you didn't. <laughs> In all honesty, I was waiting for her to get caught because she kept fucking saying it every goddamn day, uh, talking uh, about it. I was like, man, she's yeah. going to have fucking knock Hey, Montauk, that's exactly right. She's a fucking rat. Take that back to that community. I was waiting on her to get caught just for the sheer fact I knew a lot of people didn't like birth, you know, and, uh, you know, it would be like people knowing I'm receiving a package. A lot of people don't like me square for one of them. He'd be like, well, you know, he's getting ready to receive marijuana within three days. I mean, even though it's not much, I mean, uh, no, I would not do that because I don't like you. Matter of fact, filthy. I would not do that at all to you. If you would just simply fucking leave me alone. Maka knows. Maka knows. Maka runs around. But you damn right. If I knew you was getting some marijuana scent or something, you can call me a rat all you want to. You play the dirty game when it comes to me. Community. I want Maka to tell them people that bird. I don't go over there, but I want Maka to tell them people that bird is a fucking rat. Maka's a great fucking person and an A1 day one for me. Now he that Maka knows that bird is a fucking rat. And please spread that around in that community I'm, that you're at. I mean, the bitch had Sammy the bull up and acted like he was a real one, you know? And I, I'm not into the mob stuff, uh, but everybody knows he was a piece of fucking shit. Yeah, oh yeah. There's I mean, documentaries studying that. that. Well, you know, it's all about the clout for her, Filthy. That's why she don't... You could go up there and be a goddamn child rapist, and if it got her fucking numbers and subs, she'd have you up and pretend like nothing ever fucking happened. He just said Bird would let a rapist up there if it got her numbers and subs. Fusion, you adopt somebody's family just to make the person who you was trolling that stopped paying attention to your trolling just to pay more attention to you. That's how pathetic you are. Here and fucking see it. Hell, if fucking Donald were still alive, she'd fucking have him on panel and be like, oh, what you did was no big deal. Listen to this country rap I got for you. Do you want to eat some of me? <laughs> you uh, want to be on my uh, OnlyFans? You can eat on me for weeks. She didn't have him actually on the show, but she was, you know, that was instead of fucking the goddies, some real motherfuckers, uh, her idol was fucking Sammy the Bull. You know? And Moses Heaps told her, said, you know, you might get a lot more support if you would do away with that. That's not a, a good look, you know. That was a godsend that I was there already when Lil Payday came up on the panel. Because I would not let anything happen to that fucking kid where she might have let Gene fucking run his goddamn mouth to the point yeah, where, you, you know, that was, that was, that, that, that could have got really, really fucking bad. I, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm even, I'm embarrassed I was even up there when that fucking happened, to be honest with you. Yeah, me too. But at the same time, like I said, I'm glad that I was because I wouldn't have let anything fucking happen to that kid. Yeah, no. He's a good kid, man. He's got a bright future. 
That's what I thought too, Nitro. And I, I don't even do the mob stuff. I, I did watch that Gotti show when it was on. And, you know, I, I like mob movies and things like that. But, uh, you know, Sammy the Bull, I mean, holy shit. Yeah, but just fuck, fuck me trying to get my life together and everything else, right? Fusion, you know, that, that, that'll protect them, you know, but they'll also influence these younger kids to make troll fucking songs and stuff against adults to get the adults mad so the adults will say something and then they can say, oh, he's going after a kid. He's going after a kid. That's exactly what they was hoping for was that I would get mad and, and go at payday. But all I told payday was, man, and you're talented, like do better. Hey, she's down to 778, people. Keep on scribing. Oh, 777. Keep hitting that unsub button. Hit that unsub that button. That is obsessive as fuck right there to sit there and monitor somebody's subs and keep refreshing and be like, oh, yeah, keep hitting that button, y'all. Like, it just shows you what the, the, they think these people literally get off on the fact that they can move mountains and run YouTube. Works are the most. Is those fucking numbers? She fucking hates it when she loses subs and loses views. Keep hitting that fucking unsubscribe button. You really want to get in her fucking head and have her fucking out here mooing? Keep hitting that unsub button. Hey, if Mama Payday is around, get in her Mama head Payday. and have her out here mooing. Hit that unsub button. In other words, if you want to fuck with her men- mentally. So that we can get some good content and fuck with her and make her into a locale. Hit that unsub. Wow. Hey, Dave, go tell her her nephew, Luke, exactly what kind of person Bird is. Because Luke's going to be on her show on Friday or some shit like that. You talking about Cool Hand Luke? Yeah. No. Yeah. I you, hope not. Some, yeah, somebody might want to go tell Cool Hand Luke that she's a fuck rat and that uh, not to give any personal information or any of that shit. Yeah, somebody somebody behind the scenes will get a hold of Luke. Somebody out there that knows Luke, man. Somebody get a hold of him and let him know what the deal is. Yeah, I, so if you I'm going to knock down. I'll catch y'all later. Not even. Right. Jody. right. Have a good one. You know, with all of what's come out here, well, Y'all are going to get to see more tomorrow, and if you tune in to Rick and Moses, you'll get to see, you know, a lot of it tonight. And hell, J. M. He probably. says down here in his chat, seven seven two, keep unstubbing. You're obsessive, fusion. The uh, review oh, that yeah. dude talking shit, you know, yeah. in the morning. But uh, after that, I, I mean, how can you go on that show? and support this fucking bitch. If, if you're here knowing what has been said and they will absolutely be proof to back it up where, you know, the video fusion was going to play some of it. And I asked him not to, because the people was kind enough to send it to me, even though if you went over to birds community page, she thinks she's somewhere talking shit where nobody ain't going to see it, but yet shares the live. They several over there she share. But, uh, you know, honestly, I don't care what she said because the five minutes of it that I heard, she said way too much. I'm going to smoke her fucking ass. I mean, triple green lights. Three oh, is the way man. of the mist. <laughs> you know, triple green lights. As far as me not making any videos, that's probably off the table if I've got time to do them. Because I'm going to put together what this fucking bitch has said. I'm going to put it out there. And, uh, you know, it might have a cow moving, you know, might have skin tag singing. You know, the sky's the fucking limit. Look, I know you guys keep telling me that books is sniping me. I don't care. Who that, fucking that, cares about that, books? That milk is spoiled. I don't yeah. want any kind, of, any kind of milk from that cow. 
Yeah. It's spoiled milk and it's it's nasty. Yeah. Hey books, I hope you I hope you hear this. Here's here's what happened. She doxed me and my kids to filthy animal. Do I think it's a big deal? But no. That's your leader, so why does it matter? Well, but you do. Right? You thought it was a huge fucking deal. I didn't do nothing with the information. Uh, well, I no, mean, I, I know, Filthy, but what uh, I'm saying is they're all worried about them being... Yeah, gone. but you'll do it with everyone else's information. <laughs> yeah, we're no one should be okay with doxing. I'm not cool with doxing. I'm not cool with it. When I watched Troll in the Working Versus video and and it showed MC stuff. Yeah, I did laugh and stuff. And hindsight is that was immature. But I took the video down ultimately too. And nobody got that video besides people that were on his side or whatever. So, I mean. But, um. Uh, I cannot believe that he said three green lights towards Bird. Now that could, that could be taken as a threat. Like Bird could take some legal action against y'all. Y'all are all quick to talk about how uh, huh. y'all are quick to talk about one thing, and, and you don't even think or see it when it comes to your situation docs to you and bird fucking straight did it gave all my info to you so right. books. Uh, somebody sent me a screenshot uh square is over there in books is live chat saying we need to support bird and be there for if they're gonna go at her for whatever reason you go over there and be a fucking cuck simp you fucking faggot from yeah. i love all them one. All them little dicks over there getting sucked by bird and an army vet. That's that's who's sucking dicks over there. No. What I mean is is that we should form allies and support yeah, you know, because obviously you guys are going at her for whatever reason. And I think because she gave some information to filthy privately, it's kinda because knowing how little we know about how you guys operate i, I think she d did very little it couldn't be no better time because all the cows are in the same pasture i'm used to having to chase one here one there you know these people are bottom of the barrel and they have no choice but to flock together but now when uh, Cat Daddy Ice Man comes home, he's going to thin the fucking herd. He ain't going to oh. rock with fucking Bird. You know, you, you can't what, have too many people outshining him, so he, he'll have to thin the herd. Well, he, he thinned already. You know, yeah. Gene uh, had to get rid of his <laughs> woman because Cat Daddy spoke. And, uh, you know, Bird ain't going to be over in his fucking stable. I, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. Books and I will ain't going to be there. You know, he's not going to like books whatsoever. No, I mean, no. I won't ever fucking compare her to Durkey again because we got to keep Durkey. Durkey gets his own pasture. He's our prize fucking milk cow. That motherfucker's great. You guys are pure fucking trash. Really, there, there's no comparison to, to Durkey and really no comparison to Square at the end of the day. You know, uh, Bird's just a devious motherfucker, you know? Scandalous, ho, chicken head, hood rat, hey, hood rat. Iceman Man don't like chocolate milk, so <laughs> I mean he's not gonna keep books around. He don't like chocolate milk, so I mean he's gone. Yeah, the only chocolate milk he likes is here. They are somebody over here with the name T E R R Y M. In his chat says the inside of Square's dad's place is pretty nice. Well, I'm glad y'all have seen it because I haven't seen it and I refuse to see it. You know, that that's fucked up, y'all. Y'all did that to my dad. 
Oh, well. I've never even seen his new place or nothing. I, I don't know where they live or nothing. And there he is now. Now, now they've supposedly looked up his background and his reality and address and all that stuff like they've done other people. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you're right. Yeah, books to be gone. He, he's not going to have him uh, being reckless like he is. He, he's not going to put up with that fucking shit. Oh, no, Cat Daddy. No, no. When yeah, because when Big Pippin comes home, it's all over. Well, imagine if Books had his draws Iceman over into. The I'm not place. engaging. I'm commentating and stuff. You you don't read well, do you? Z, get out of here. Fuck, and dude, I have never seen somebody lie, be fake, get exposed for it, and then still stick around and want to say something. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I know. They used to love Bird. Community that books runs in. Oh, God. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly why fucking Iceman would get rid of books because of that other fucking community. Iceman can't run over there. No, he, there ain't no way he's going to step across the line, not Iceman. He, uh-huh. You know, they act like Iceman's just some fucking fierce fucking dude, and when he gets out, all of this is going to turn the other way. Well, I ain't ain't fearless. he's had me blocked since the first time that motherfucker talked to me. Won't even talk to me. Hey, filthy. Do you have that? Um, you got that rebel video of him being real fucking racist saying that song over on your rumble? I do. I do. Oh, maybe people need to see a little bit of that and see what they're, see what they're dealing with here. I'm going to start a rumble. That's something that I am gonna do. Now, folks, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with you and play it. And viewer discretion is advised. This is this is your guy, uh, Carolina Rebel, singing a very, very, very racist song. Uh, this, this this one is actually the worst one. Unfortunately, I don't have it, or I don't have the one where they photoshop the little black girl. Uh, dancing to a song talking about hanging the black people. Oh, and look, we do not endorse any kind of racism over here. We we are not supporters of this trash. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only to show you what a racist this piece of shit is. So with that in mind, let me play this for you. Wait, is this is this one where he sings filthy? Yeah, he sings. It's common. Yeah. Oh, to hear that, this is for you, Ice Man. Can y'all hear it? It's low. Yeah, I've got it up as far as it'll go on Rumble. Yeah, I can hear the word. Wow. And this is the guy you got over there in the community. I think we might have heard enough of that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that should get the point over. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, did you it, snipe that book? Did you snipe that book? Is he still he, your boy? Is he still he, your boy? He did. I mean, I, I don't know how you can support a piece of shit like that. Oh, I, I, I forgot oh. books was not. 
because uh, I, I'm not even going to make the attempt because if they're going to say, oh, that's a lie. But those lyrics aren't the best. They are offensive. But I don't think I'm pretty sure I know. That's not why Carolina picked it. He picked it because of the element of the South not not being changed and his heritage and all that. And, and they're going to say bullshit. He's racist. I think it was poor choice in 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 taste. And choosing a song, but I don't think that means he's racist. I put you. Oh, <laughs> and Squares over there saying, and that doesn't prove shit. It's just being used because of the controversy attached to that song. It proves that he's, he's a, fucking a fucking racist. racist. <laughs> I mean, he's sitting there singing along to the fucking song. I mean, how much more fucking proof do you need that somebody's a fucking racist? Is that all that guy ever sung? Is songs like that? You're telling me that he he, that he didn't he he just doesn't like that guy at all. That just happens to be one bad song. Square, you just see the person. You can't hear the words. Well, Square sings that song too. They probably do that backstage together. So oh, I like guarantee that. they do. Before I ever shooting. Night. Oh, hell to the no. Nah. You are not going to call me racist. Now you. <laughs> oh, but yet I've dated and wanted to even almost, I think, pretty sure that I'm just in love with a, an African chick. But yeah, okay, I'm racist. You want to do some Johnny Rebel and chill? Wow. You don't have to apologize, little me. I mean, that wasn't you, bro. I mean, I know you guys tried, you know, to squash that shit and, you know, all that. I get that. You know, I get it. He was your homie at the time. I get it. It's Nobody blames you for that shit. For real, for real. But, you know, if Square is going to be over there supporting that shit... He's just at every much as a fucking racist as fucking Carolina rebel yep. and anybody uh, that supports him. I think we should call him junk box or out of van man. I mean, I, that fits him a lot better. Junk yeah. box or out of van man. I'm I down like junk that. box. He, I, think I, he likes I think he does too. Let, let me play this little clip. It's just a little seven second clip from this is from the stream last night. I'm not going to play the whole thing. Just this one clip. But let's see what Bird thinks about old Square Bear. This kid that they throw right is them Square. Like they give him a hard time, and he is a little fucking junk box, like he is. Uh oh, that junk was ju- that was just from last night, Square. Eighteen hours ago, she's calling you a fucking junk box, and you're okay. Over there. Well, that's all right then. Fuck her too then, if she wants to believe that. Well then. Fuck you too. Uh, I guess they're gonna cause you know the this group. They're gonna cause. Look, there's one, two, three, four of my Instagram videos leaked over there. Yeah, but you guys aren't stalking me though, right? No, of course not. Yeah, make it make sense. You are stalking them. You are stalking me. All right, so that's it. That's all I got to do for today. Um, Fuck bird. She wants to think I'm a jump box. That's fine. I don't really give a shit. I know I've been doing just what I need to do. So, and how I need to do it. So that's fine. Uh, I'm not in active addiction. So, yeah. Anyways, hope everyone has a good rest of their day. I'm going to go, yeah, it's a little warm out here, so somewhat windy. I'm going to go check out outside a little bit, see all what's going on, maybe get ready to order something to eat, watch some TV. Peace out.
Adios. Well, I was going to take you side, Bert. <laughs>